I am a foodie. I find it endlessly fascinating how the human mind adapts the produce of Mother Nature and uses it to express themselves. As a proud resident of the Peak District, I am in love with Derbyshire. I love the rolling hills, the beautiful streams, the straightforward folk, and especially all the wonderful produce grown and made here. One of my absolute favourites is ice cream. To me it's magic. It's incredible how so much flavour and texture is packed into a frozen little piece. How it melts and bursts with flavour and how it puts a smile on me. And for a moment I'm a little boy again and in sheer bliss. Hey, yep, and welcome to sunny-ish Derbyshire. All right, so it's uh, the beginning of April and uh, as the beginning of April comes, there's one thing that we always have to be doing. And uh, what do we do? Yeah, we go for an ice cream. But uh, seeing as it's me and I love my ice cream, yeah, we're not just gonna have one. What we're doing today is an ice cream door of Derbyshire. Thank you Saddlebags for inspiring me. There's no Cornish pasties here, but we'll do our ice cream. There's a little bit why you know why Derbyshire is important for ice cream. Um, Derbyshire is quite famous for its dairies. We make Stilton cheese and we also carnation milk for Nestle's. It used to be made up in Ashbourne. So the carnation milk you would have been having in the past until the Clids factory uh, has all things um, used to actually come from Derbyshire. So we do a lot of milk and um, and what, one of the things that a lot of these nice dairies have done, they've actually started to branch out. One sec, we get that. They started to branch out and what they started to do is do ice cream. So we're today at Bluebell Ice Cream um, just on the edge of Derbysh and we're going to go through six different places have six different ice creams and by the end of the day you'll know the place you'll need to come for a nice ice cream but you see this is not something that only one person can do alone uh, you know this is like a quite important task and therefore we've got to go I brought our team along so we've got uh, Lone Wally and we've got Jess as well so we're all coming out and uh, we're going to be going to six different places having six different ice creams and we're going to be doing a review of each one and by the end of the day we're doing this for you we're going to be suffering we're going to be having a hard time but we're doing it for our public because we love you all right but you guys have fun and um we'll see you on the first ice cream which we'll be having in a minute over there in bluebell yep so when you come in they've got a nice big place in here so this is where you come get your ice creams and teas and coffee in the corner a nice little gift shop loads of little uh, magnets things in the wall because like i said it's it actually a farm as well yeah, so got a nice little place. Very nice bluebells in Derbyshire. So right, spots. so we've uh, got our three. We've got the popular flavour called honeycomb. Uh, we've got one of my favourites, uh, the amaretto and black cherry. And the third one's called the devilish, devilish chocolate. So let's have a look and uh, let's see which ones. <laughs> oh God, it is. That's just right. <laughs> Yeah, quite nicely chocolate flavour. It's got quite you know, sweet notes you as soon as you have it. It's got some nice bitterness and that uh, dark chocolate afterwards. There's chunks in that one. Mm. Quite a nice one actually going to get for a second one. Just to make sure I'm being thorough. Mmm. <laughs> mm. Yes, it's garbage spoon. It's not going to be around like that one. <laughs> that is proper chocolate. Yeah, yeah. Trying to get it, but I'm like, it's, got, it's got quite a treat of like a nice chocolate, thick chocolate milkshake, hasn't it? Yeah. It's got that. Let's go for the cherry. It's probably the one, mm. one of the more chocolatey actual flavours. Mm. Mm. Nice. It's got nice, got fresh cherries in there. Oh, is it? Yeah. But the amaretto is quite nice, it's not too overpowering. It's, um, it's quite rich, but not too rich. But, but uh, that one, but the chocolate is a lot more stronger, a lot more richer. Mm. Uh, that one's very sweet. Yeah. It must be the I like that one. Yeah, it's, but it's also, it's got, it's got fresh fruit as well. It's got fresh cherry. Let's have a look just at the honeycomb. Let's see how we do. What do you think that's so far, guys? Chocolate one. Second one's my favourite so far. <laughs> but I'm not a chocolate cool. Yeah, you get all the cream at the start, then that honey honeycomb hits. It's like having a bit of a crunchy, isn't it? It's like having cream with a crunch, like a, a spoonful, mouthful of cream. That one's sweeter though. Then having like crunchy. Yeah, it's a lot sweeter afterwards, isn't it? But yeah, it's quite nice flavours, aren't it? It's not too mm. bad. It's nothing too. Yeah, something like a 
Right, let's give you a quick little show of the place. So when you do come in, we've got a nice big car park here. We've got the, uh, this little place outside. Come in here, get your ice cream, and a place out here where you can come. Um, and we've got loads of children's and play area. We've got a farm in the back. Yeah, so it's quite nice. Well, uh, onwards and onwards, so let's go to the next one. So, we've got our three flavours. Wow. Right, Chris is trying that. What do you think, Chris? First impression? So I don't like hot cross buns on their own. That's and it that. smells like hot cross bun. Yeah. It smells and there's a exactly hint, like hot cross bun. There's bone. a hint to it, but it's not overpowering. Hmm. There's cinnamon in that one. Hmm. Do you know what I mean? I mean, it's too. Yeah, because it starts off like quite um, like ready. You got like that wheat flavour. Mm. Then you get the cinnamon coming in. Then you get the hot, the, those cut black, the currants afterwards. Mm. I'm not normally a currants or fruity type of guy. But I've got to say, that's actually quite good. It's quite impressive. I like the big chunks. It's quite impressive though. Generally, it is like a hot cross bun. Mm. Yeah. But, mm. not, but not as strong. No. Is that junk? Right there. But it's even having extra cream on it, isn't it? Right, so what do you think about the... Uh, about this one? Honeycomb. The honeycomb. It's a lot sweeter. But also, I think it's got a taste of golden syrup in there. Mm. Mm. It yeah. has got a syrupy taste to it. Yeah, it tastes more golden syrup than honey. But I think I actually prefer it. I prefer the honey, I think. Mm. Um, what about? I'm going to be controversial and so say I think I prefer the banoffee thing because that's got overpowering cinnamon from the hot cross bun because some yeah. do have a lot. Mm. And I think that's too strong because there's a lot of syrup. Mm. With it, but this one's more subtle, but it's still sweet. It's quite balanced, isn't it? Mm, banoffee, yeah, um, yeah banoffee, yeah. Going okay, for the banoffee. I think I'm actually going to agree with you. There we go, unanimous. Yeah. There you go. So if you come here, the one that we like the most from the, this is the banoffee. There's a banoffee. Um, I think that's quite nice as well. I think that's nice as a little, just something unusual well, to try. Easter special, wasn't it? Yes, yeah, yeah. Easter special once a year. So that's something quite nice. Yeah, it's a nice little place. So if you come down to Dal Dali Abbey. Come down to um, the hatch. Call the hatch. There's a hatch. Nice little place. You've got plenty of parking here. And yeah, it's quite nice. Yup, and welcome to DR Today at Matlock Meadows, just up the road from Matlock. And this is one of the places that we didn't do on the day when I had my little time out. So um, I've just come up today um, and I've actually got three of the popular flavours. So we actually have um, Peach Melba, which was my favourite, the Salted Caramel, which was the um, popular with the people um, behind the counter and the one at the moment that's a big flavor seller is the gingerbread Let's have a quick little try of them all. The gingerbread, let's start off with this Ooh. It's not as bready as the one in the hatch It's a lot more 
Hmm, sweeter. All right, let's try the Preach Melba. Hmm. Oh. Well, this is the one I try to look at. I've always quite liked Peach Melba. Quite a classic flavour, I've got. It's quite sweet. Um, salted caramel. A really good place, Malak Meadows. They've got uh, lots of areas to sit. They've got some little areas attractive for poolies to play with. And lots of little animals about as well. Lots of places to play. And lots, lots of easy parking. Only, only thing I would say is only open on Saturdays and Sundays. So limited opening times. But apart from that, very nice place. Um, yeah, happy to visit.